Hi everyone and welcome back. In the last video we took a look at the ASCII table and how we use the ASCII table to help us when we're trying to send serial data. In this example here we're going to take a look at something called parity. What was happening with original tests involving serial data is that sometimes there would be an electrical glitch and maybe the power fluctuated and all of a sudden maybe a bit that was supposed to be a one ended up being a zero and what that did was it ended up sending a different character than what was originally intended so someone came up with a system to help to try to correct errors and that is called the parity bit system and here's how it works if we are trying to send capital C that means we're trying to send this number right here and the way parity works is we look at all those ones and zeros for capital C and you can see here that we have a total of three ones that's an odd number of ones so the parity bit follows. The parity bit basically says, how many ones do you have? Do you have an odd number? If it's true, yes, I have three. I have an odd number of ones. That's a parity bit of zero. If we look at sending the letter D, that reference is represented by this binary number. If we look at the number of ones here, we have two that is not an odd number so we're saying no with odd parity that's not an odd number it's false so I'm gonna put a one here to represent it's false and there should be an even number of bits coming if we're using odd parity and we're sending an odd number of ones it's true we put a zero for the parity bit if we have even parity Basically, it's just the opposite. So let's take a look at this example down here first. This again is the letter D, and you can see that it has two ones in it. That's an even number. So if we're using, using even parity, it's an even number, that's true. So it's a zero. So the parity bit is a zero. If it's even parity and we have an odd number of ones like we do here, then the parity bit is 1. So the parity bit is a way of checking. When it gets received on the other end by the other computer, what it does is it counts the number of ones and it uses the parity bit to determine if there was a single mistake or not. So it's a method of error checking to see if there was a mistake happening during transmission. So let's go and take a look at our previous example. We're trying to send the letter capital C and that's represented by this binary number right here. And let's say we use odd parity. Well, if we're using odd parity, like we said, that's an odd number of ones. And since it's odd parity, it's true. If it's true, it's a zero. So we're gonna put a zero for the parity bit. Next thing is we also have what we call start and stop bits and that indicates that there is a new character coming down the wire the stop bits tell it that that character has finished and we're waiting for the next character to make things simple we are always going to say that the start bit is a low it's always zero and the stop bits are always one so if you could actually see the voltages and measure the voltages on the wire it starts with a start bit which is a low then it goes high for two bits so it goes up and it stays high for two bits then it's a low for the next four bits then it goes back high for one bit Next is the parity bit. It is a zero, so it's low. And then it goes back up like this. So that's an example transmitting 
using serial data transmission and how we can determine the parity, the start bit, and the stop bit. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.